Hello, and welcome to Elgin Community College. We're glad you're here. In this video, you will learn how to obtain your user ID and create a password for the Access ECC portal, set your Access ECC security questions, take a brief tour of the self-service menu that you'll use for course registration, financial aid, tuition payments, tax information, and access your student email. Let's get started. First, you're gonna learn about your user ID and password. You received your seven digit ECC ID number with your welcome email and letter. Have it ready as you'll need it to obtain your user ID. You may also be able to obtain your user ID number if you provided your social security number with your application for admission. Starting from any page on the elgin.edu site, go to the upper right corner of the page and find a link to the student portal, also known as Access ECC. Access ECC is an outline platform that you'll use frequently as an ECC student. This is where you check your student email, plan your courses, register for classes, view financial aid and payment information, make payments, obtain your academic transcripts, and more. To access the portal, a user ID and password are required. You can get your user ID and password by going to www.elgin.edu slash access ECC. Click on New Users Start Here. Next, click Show Me My User ID and My Student Slash Employee ID. Typically, your user ID is your first initial, last name, and the last four digits of your ECC ID. Enter the information requested starting with your last name, including proper capitalization. Enter your birth date using two digits for the month, two digits for the day, and four digits for the year. Enter your seven digit student ID number. You can find this on your welcome letter, or if you don't have this information, enter the last four digits of your social security number. Click submit. If you receive an error message, please contact the Access ECC helpline immediately at 847-214-7570. Now, the system will prompt you to create three security questions. Use the drop-down arrows to select your preferred questions and enter answers that you will remember. Remember, your answers are case sensitive, so you must remember them exactly. Be sure to make note of this information and keep it secure. ECC staff cannot access this information and you may only reset your answer in person at the first stop desk with a valid photo ID. After you select and answer your security questions, click submit. You will see your user ID as well as your student ID number. Make note of these important numbers too. The next step is to create your password. Click on get slash reset my password. Enter your user ID if it is not displayed and click submit. Answer the security questions and enter the numeric code shown on the screen. Click submit. You have an option to choose where your validation code will be sent. Typically, it is either your personal email address or a text message to your cell phone and it is valid for 10 minutes. If there is no valid information shown, call 847-214-7570. To update your information, create your password. Your password must contain at least eight characters, including both upper and lowercase letters, a number, and may not include any part of your name. When your password has been successfully created, you will see your password has been changed. ECC cannot access your password, so please create a password you can remember easily. Now you're ready to log in and use Access ECC. For most of your transactions, you'll rely on the self-service app. After logging in, click on the Student tab along the top left navigation bar, which opens with a new tab on your screen. From there, self-service is located within the ECC Apps menu. For example, look within the self-service menu for the Student Finance section. This is where you will view your billing statement, make payments, or set up a payment plan. Financial Aid is where you can view your FAFSA, see where you are in the financial aid process, and review your award letters. Tax information is where you will find your 1098T information. And academic planning and registration will allow you to search for courses, plan your semester, and register for course sections. Finally, let's go back to the ECC Apps menu and take a look at the student mail. First, go back to the main portal tab on your screen. Click on the student email app and use your user ID and password to log in. Your student email includes your first initial, last name, and the last four digits of your ECC ID number. Here's an example of what your student email address looks like. 
It is important for you to check this mailbox frequently because this is considered your official email address with the college. ECC faculty and staff will send you important information to your student email address. You can forward this email to your personal email for easier monitoring. For future visits to Access ECC, remember that you can find the link in the upper right corner of any page on elgin.edu. You can also get there directly by typing in elgin.edu slash access ECC. Enter your user ID and password. Click on the student tab along the top left navigation bar of your screen. From here, you can use any of the self-service apps on your screen. We hope this video has given you what you need to get started as an ECC student. Remember, first stop is your first stop. Whenever you have problems or need further information, please contact First Stop at 847-214-7570 or come see us in Building A, Room A100. Thank you and have a great semester.